He was about to rob mansion and found old woman sick. What happened next will make you cry. In the heart of a sprawling city where the relentless hum of urban life never ceases, David and Sophia find themselves caught in the unforgiving tide of poverty. Barely in their teens, they're thrust into a world where survival is a daily battle and childhood is a luxury they can scarcely afford. With their parents gone, swallowed by their own demons and leaving behind nothing but echoes of broken promises, the siblings are left to fend for themselves in a concrete jungle that offers little mercy. David, the elder of the two, feels the weight of responsibility heavy on his young shoulders. He's not just a brother, he's become a guardian, a role model, a provider. All roles he's too young to bear, yet takes on with a resolve that belies his years. The empty cupboards and silent echoes of their small, dilapidated apartment serve as a constant reminder of their dire situation. Sophia, with her wide, hopeful eyes, looks up to him, her trust both a balm and a burden to his troubled heart. The streets become their school, each day a lesson in harsh reality. David, with his sharp wit and quiet strength, soon attracts the attention of a group of street-savvy youths. These are children like him, hardened by the streets, their innocence lost amidst the struggle for survival. They offer David a way out, a chance to ease the gnawing hunger that plagues him and Sophia. It's a path shrouded in moral ambiguity, but desperation blurs the lines between right and wrong. As David becomes entangled with these young thieves, he's drawn to a grand, mysterious mansion that stands as an anachronism amidst the urban decay. It's a relic of a bygone era, its walls holding secret to opulence now faded. The mansion beckons to David, promising answers to unspoken questions, offering a glimpse into a world so vastly different from his own. The journey to this mansion marks a turning point in David and Sophia's lives. It's here that David's choices lead him into a labyrinth of new experiences and moral dilemmas. The mansion, with its hidden corners and silent stories, becomes a crucible for change. In its shadowed halls, David confronts the reality of his actions and the consequences they bear, not just for himself, but for Sophia, who remains his beacon of hope in the darkest of times. This period in their lives is a crucial juncture, setting in motion events that will challenge their perceptions of life, family, and the world. In the heart of the city, where every street corner tells a story of struggle and resilience, David and Sophia's story unfolds as a testament to the enduring spirit of youth and the unbreakable bonds of family. Their journey is a poignant reminder of the trials faced by those on the fringes of society and the extraordinary strength required to rise above them. In this narrative, the mansion stands not just as a physical locale, but as a symbol of the pivotal moments that shape our lives and forge our futures. With the towering walls of the mansion, a world apart from the gritty streets of the city, David stumbles upon a fragile thread of humanity in the form of Mrs. Eleanor. She's an elderly woman, her life's winters marked by an illness and solitude. This unexpected encounter between youth and age, poverty and affluence, ignites a bond that defies the boundaries of their vastly different worlds. The mansion, once a beacon of opulence and grandeur, now stands as a hollow echo of its former glory. Its ornate halls, which once resonated with the laughter and chatter of high society, are now silent, save for the quiet suffering of Mrs. Eleanor. In her, David finds not the wealth or treasures he has envisioned, but as a soul as lost and forsaken as his own. Mrs. Eleanor, with her weary eyes and a heavy heart with the passage of time, sees in David a flicker of the life and vibrancy that the mansion has long been devoid of. As David steps into the role of Mrs. Eleanor's unlikely caretaker, their interactions become a dance of mutual healing. Each day, he learns a little more about the woman behind the frail exterior. Her stories, steeped in the richness of a life once fully lived, are windows into a past that David can scarcely imagine. In turn, Mrs. Eleanor finds in David a reminder of the dreams and hopes she once harbored, now reflected in the earnestness of his young eyes. This relationship, 
nurtured in the unlikeliest of settings, becomes a journey of emotional and moral growth for David. He, who had tread the fine line between right and wrong in his struggle for survival, now finds himself grappling with deeper questions of duty, compassion, and loyalty. The mansion, with its shadowed corners and whispered secrets, becomes a sanctuary for their burgeoning connection. In the quietude of the mansion, David discovers aspects of himself he'd never known. The responsibility of caring for Mrs. Eleanor, once a burden he would have shunned, becomes a source of strength and purpose. He learns the virtues of patience, empathy, and unconditional kindness, lessons that the harsh streets never taught him. The stark contrast between his life of scarcity and the mansion's dormant luxury becomes less a division and more a bridge that connects their disparate experiences. Under David's care, the mansion undergoes a subtle yet profound transformation. It shifts from a symbol of bygone wealth to a haven of refuge and love. The once empty rooms begin to resonate with the new life that David and Miss Eleanor breathe into them. The grandeur of the mansion takes on a new meaning, serving not as a showcase of wealth, but as a backdrop to a relationship that transcends social boundaries and material expectations. Throughout his bond with Miss Eleanor, David finds not only an unexpected companion, but also a new understanding of what it means to give and receive love. The mansion, in all its faded glory, becomes a testament to the power of human connection and the unexpected places where it can flourish. In this timeless space, David and Mrs. Eleanor weave a tapestry of shared experiences, bridging the gap between their worlds with the threads of compassion and understanding. As David delves deeper into his role as the caretaker and companion to Mrs. Eleanor, the walls of the mansion seem to whisper secrets, unraveling the threads of a past long shrouded in mystery. It becomes evident that Mrs. Eleanor's life is intricately woven with strands that remarkably connect to David's own family history, revealing a tapestry of coincidences and fate that neither of them could have anticipated. Mrs. Eleanor, once a figure of enigmatic solitude, begins to unfurl her life story in front of David, her narrative painting the picture of a time and society vastly different from his own. Her tales are rich with names and events that seem to echo through the halls of David's memory, striking chords of familiarity. It's during these revelations that David learns of Mrs. Eleanor's past connections with his own family, ties that are both surprising and enlightening. This discovery forges a deeper bond between them, transcending the initial ties of compassion and need and knitting them together in a shared history. However, as the bond between David and Mrs. Eleanor strengthens, external forces begin to intrude upon the sanctuary they've created within the mansion. The news of Mrs. Eleanor's failing health and her close companionship with David starts to attract attention, leading to legal disputes over her estate. Distant relatives, previously shadows in the periphery of her life, emerge with claims of contentions, driven by self-interest and greed. These relatives, who had shown no concern for Mrs. Eleanor's loneliness and illness, now see her estate as a ripe opportunity for their enrichment. The legal challenges pose a significant threat to the world David and Mrs. Eleanor have built. The mansion, a haven of peace, and the setting of their unique family is at risk of being torn away from them. David finds himself fighting not just for the physical structure of the mansion, but for the memories, relationships, and the very essence of what they have come to mean to each other. The dispute tests the strength of their bond as they navigate the complexities of law and the harsh realities of familial greed. Throughout this ordeal, David's perspective on life and family undergoes a profound transformation. The battles they face together in the outside world strengthen their internal bond, fortifying their resolve to protect what they've come to cherish. Mrs. Eleanor, with her wisdom and grace, guides David through these trials, teaching him about resilience, the true value of relationships, and the often painful realities of human nature. As they stand together against the external threats, the mansion becomes more than just a backdrop to their lives. It turns into a symbol of their struggle, 
a physical representation of the family they've created out of choice and necessity. The mansion, with its echoing corridors and stately rooms, witnesses their fight to preserve their newfound family against the odds. In the face of adversity, David and Mrs. Eleanor's relationship evolves from a simple bond of care and dependence to one of mutual support and deep emotional connection. Their journey through Mrs. Eleanor's past and the battles they face together bind them in an unbreakable kinship. This period in their lives marks a significant chapter in their personal histories as they become to realize that the family is not just defined by blood, but can be formed through shared experiences, struggles, and unwavering loyalty. As the seasons shift within the walls of the Grand Mansion, so too does the life of Mrs. Eleanor, whose health begins to decline like the fading autumn leaves. This period, marked by a slow but inevitable progression, sees the bond between her, David, and Sophia deepening into something profound and unshakable. Their relationship, forged in the quiet moments of care and shared stories, blossoms into a familial connection that defies the conventional definitions of family. David and Sophia, who had once navigated the world as a duo, now find themselves part of a trio, with Mrs. Eleanor becoming an integral part of their lives. Her presence, with its blend of wisdom, warmth, and vulnerability, brings a new dimension to their existence. David, who had stepped into the role of her caretaker out of a sense of obligation and empathy, now finds himself emotionally tethered to the elderly lady, her well-being as crucial to him as his own. Sophia, with her youthful innocence and compassion, becomes a source of joy and comfort for Mrs. Eleanor, brightening her days with laughter and companionship. However, as Mrs. Eleanor's health wanes, they find themselves embroiled in a legal battle that threatens the very fabric of the makeshift family they have created. The dispute centers around Mrs. Eleanor's will, a document that stands as a testament to her affection and trust in David and Sophia. Relatives who had remained distant during her years of solitude now emerge from the woodwork, driven by greed and entitlement, laying claim to her estate. The legal wrangling becomes a fierce contest, not just over material wealth, but over the values and relationships that Mrs. Eleanor holds dear. The struggle over the will is a challenging ordeal for David and Sophia, who find themselves fighting to preserve the legacy of a woman who has become much more than a benefactor to them. Mrs. Eleanor, despite her frailty, stands as a pillar of strength and resolve, her belief in David and Sophia unwavering. Her desire to see them secure and thriving in the future she won't be a part of becomes a powerful driving force in the battle. The emotional depth of their relationship becomes increasingly evident as they navigate this tumultuous period. They share moments of fear and uncertainty, but also of profound connection and mutual support. The legal battle with its ups and downs serves as a backdrop to the evolving dynamics of their bond each twist and turn bringing them closer together. Ultimately, their struggle culminates in a crucial victory. The will, with its provisions favoring David and Sophia, is upheld in court, securing not just their financial future, but also affirming the legitimacy of their familial bonds. This victory is bittersweet, as it comes amidst the reality of Mrs. Eleanor's declining health. But it is a victory nonetheless, a validation of her wishes and the relationship they've nurtured. Mrs. Eleanor's legacy, thus enshrined in the outcome of the legal battle, leaves an indelible mark on David and Sophia's lives. It's not just the material inheritance that holds value, but the emotional and moral legacy that Mrs. Eleanor imparts to them. In her final days, the mansion, once a mere structure of brick and mortar, becomes a true home filled with love, memories, and the lasting impact of a woman who reshaped the course of their lives through her kindness, wisdom, and undying affection. The Grand Mansion, once a symbol of solitude and melancholy in Mrs. Eleanor's final years, begins a new chapter under the stewardship of David and Sophia. With the inheritance secured, they embark on a journey to transform this monumental structure into a beacon of hope and community engagement. This transformation is not just physical but symbolic, 
marking the transition from a private residence to a public sanctuary where warmth, assistance, and camaraderie flourish. The mansion's spacious rooms and halls, which had once echoed with the silence of loneliness, now buzz with activity and life. David and Sophia work tirelessly to convert the space into a community center, a place where the underprivileged and neglected can find support, education, and a sense of belonging. Programs for children, food drives, and educational workshops start to fill the calendar, turning the mansion into a lively hub that mirrors the compassion and generosity of Mrs. Eleanor's legacy. Amidst these changes, an unexpected twist arises in David and Sophia's life, the return of their estranged parents. The parents who had once left them to fend for themselves now reappear, seeking forgiveness and a place in their children's lives. This development introduces a complex emotional dynamic for David and Sophia. The pain of abandonment and the scars of a difficult childhood clash with the innate human yearning for familial connection and closure. Their parents' return forces them to confront unresolved feelings and the possibility of reconciliation. As they grapple with these emotional challenges, David and Sophia discover another facet of Mrs. Eleanor's legacy, a hidden refuge. This discovery comes at a time when they're seeking answers and direction, providing them with not just a physical space for reflection, but also a symbolic journey towards understanding and healing. The refuge, a quaint and serene place tucked away from the world, becomes a ground for introspection and contemplation. The journey to this hidden refuge is as much an external expedition as it is an internal one. David and Sophia, along with their returning parents, venture to this special place that Mrs. Eleanor had cherished. Here, amidst the tranquility and beauty of nature, they find the space to engage in open, heartfelt dialogues. The refuge becomes a crucible for mending old wounds and building new bridges. In this serene environment, away from the world's noise and the responsibilities of running the community center, David and Sophia begin to see their parents in a new light. They listen to their stories of regret, understanding the circumstances that led them to their abandonment, and slowly start to untangle the complex web of emotions that their return has evoked. This process of reconciliation is not swift or easy, but it is cathartic, offering a chance for forgiveness and a new start. The essence of David and Sophia's transformative journey is encapsulated in this period of change and growth. From the depths of childhood struggles to the heights of community leadership, their lives have been a testament to the resilience and the power of compassion. Mrs. Eleanor's final gift, The Hidden Refuge, serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring impact of love and kindness. It's here that they come to realize that healing is possible, and hope, once a distant flicker, can be rekindled. Their story, intertwined with the mansion's transformation, becomes a narrative of overcoming adversity, embracing change, and the enduring power of the human spirit to find light in the darkest of times.